Thank you, Michael. And as promised, here she is, Lara Fabian, just as gorgeous as I said she would be. And I am just so impressed with your talents, Lara. It's not just the singing, but you sing in four languages. Yes, sir. How did you learn so many? Well, just simply because I was born in such a multilingual family. My mom is from South of Italy. My father is from Belgium. And so from the youngest age, I heard all these different languages spoken around me. And it was just very easy to pick up. But also the musical ear, I think, helps you enormously with that. Now, uh, what language do you think in? It depends who I, who I speak to. And, and if, like, if I'm talking to you right now, I think in English. Otherwise, I would be translating and I would make any sense. And when you can't, say you're doing math in your head, what language? <laughs> <laughs> That's a great question. Uh, Probably, probably French most of the time, or Italian, because it's the first That's two languages I learned, then English and then Spanish. It's incredible uh, that you can move so easily from one to another. Now, when you're singing, is there one language you prefer to sing in? Uh, the emotion is truly different from one to the other. I would say the passionate, raging woman can express herself in, in Italian very well. And then the poetic thing, maybe French. And then for everything that has to move and swing around, English is the best language to, to do it. And now this is actually your Lara Fabian album that's released in the U.S. It's your first English. Exactly. And you also wrote in English yes. on this, which is also on the, the CD we have here. This, you, many of the songs on here you've written. Absolutely, yes, 90% of the record I, I re wrote or co-wrote with great artists that I had the chance to work with, like Walter Ray or Pat Leonard. And you can write then in any of these languages as well? Because I spoke them from such a young, young age, yes. As you can tell, I'm impressed uh, by the multilingual thing. It's just fabulous. I think it's wonderful. No thing to brag about, truly, because it was as a child, like a child thrown in something so different, you know. What about the singing? Were you thrown into that early? My mom and dad sing, both sing, not professionally, they just loved music. So the house was always enhanced by that music, very cheerful way to live. So music was a way of living. Well, we're going to hear more about that. I want to hear uh, about your coming to Canada and yes. all the things. But we have to remind people that it's important that they call and make a pledge here at WLIW. As we mentioned, this is your very first time your concert's airing yes, right here and absolutely. now. So if you think that was a good move for us to do, then we need you to make a call and to make a pledge. We're going to send you this CD that's not available in the U.S. This is uh, exclusive to us here this evening. $75 pledge, we'll get a copy out to you. Use the number on your screen and call now. Well, the Miracle on 34th Street tickets are sold. Those went very quickly, Lara, okay. very quickly. So unfortunately, we don't have any more of those, but I encourage you to make that pledge for the CD. Let us get that out to you at the level of $75. And as we mentioned, this is one that's not available in the US. This is something that Lara was able to get for us exclusively here at WLIW. A couple phone calls, you know, she knows a few people that can help <laughs> us in these things. So we were able to get that CD for you. So that's at the $75 level. And of course, we have that package that Michael's been telling you about at $125. Now, you moved to North America yes. when you were 18, 20. Yes. 20. Mm -hmm. Are your parents still in Europe? Absolutely, they're still there. And when I did that big move in my life to leave ahead, to leave behind family, friends, and everything, that really encouraged me, really helped this young, crazy woman to do what she wanted to do. Yes. That must have been so dreadful for them to let you go, though. Do you still keep in touch? Oh, yes. They're the closest thing to me. My mom and dad are probably the most important thing because, you see, the first time I ever recorded something, my dad gave me 20 years of savings. He just practically, you know, some kids want to go to university, some other want to have a business or something, and he decided he... He, that day he left home and he got back like two hours later with an envelope and he said he said this is what I've been working for 20 years because I believe in what you what your talent is he, he truly did that oh. and he gave me that money in an envelope and he said whatever your dream is which is recording an album or songwriting this is what you can achieve it with and uh, and when luck came around and I, I had the ability to give him back that money he never wanted it back and uh, so today they really are the closest thing to me truly that is unbelievable. That gave me chills. That is such a beautiful story. So generosity story. is something that I understand through them. And, uh, and I like this kind of TV things because it, it brings out generosity into people and make public television exist in this way. So keep that up. Yeah, and that's absolutely that true. That's it. Generosity is all what public television relies on. We, we, we relied on Lara's uh, producer to say, try this show, give it a shot. And then we rely on you to say, we're doing the right thing. So please make that call. Be generous during this season of giving and support WLIW. Go to your phone now. <laughs> Laura and Lara, that is a combination. Laura, yes. <laughs>
I want to remind you about that CD we have for you. That is exclusive here to WLIW. It is not available in the U.S. And as we mentioned, actually, why don't you tell me about the, the four tracks of these extra Spanish songs on here? Absolutely. We, we did that specifically for the Latin market, so in every Spanish-speaking country. And it's another language that I, that I love and that I love to express myself in. And so you have also I Will Love Again in a ballad version and in the original version, both in Spanish. Oh, and original nice. songs uh, produced by... Uh, Casey Porter wrote with the, wrote and worked with Selena and, uh, and people like that. And the songs, so these yes. are original songs for Absolutely. you, though. Wonderful. Oh, that's when you join us at $75. I must remind you of that. Of course, try to use your credit card if you can. And now, Laura, I've got to ask you, the holidays are coming up. All our minds are we're thinking of Christmas and yes. Hanukkah. Now, where will you go for Christmas? Will you go back to Europe? I'm going to go to Montreal, which is where I live. And my mom and dad are going to fly from Brussels and Italy to, uh, to be with me. And uh, my family is going to be there. So it's going to be a simple, intimate thing. I'm going to cook and stuff. And You're going to cook? Yes, I love oh, that. come on. It's my second passion. Is yes. it? Yes. What are your specialties? Well, Italian things in general. General, but I, I'm pretty continental. I'll do many, many things. I will, I will be risky. I'll, I'll, I'll use my audacity. I like to try stuff that I haven't tried before. So, yeah. do you specialize in desserts too? Well, I love alone. that. <laughs> it's seen the expression on my face. I love dessert. That's a problem. <laughs> oh, that's going to be wonderful that you'll have your family with yes. you. That'll be great. Well, we're going to go back to the concert in just a moment. Uh, you're going to hear more of Lara's music, and you're singing in all the languages in this show. I think so what's next is Caruso, which is a very, very well-known song in Italian. It talks about the most beautiful love story ever, ever existing. Oh, we'll look forward to that. I think we may have actually heard Andrea Bocelli sing that at some point, right? Uh, yes, probably. Yes. yes. So you may already know that song, but take a listen to Lara's take on that song. The number's on your screen. Don't forget to join. Watch the rest as a member. Call now. Here she is, Lara Fabian. We are so pleased to have you here with us. It really Thank is you. very exciting. You're what we call an emerging artist. You're become Newcomer. tremendously popular in the United States, but you've been around for a while performing in France. I have in France and uh, other countries, but definitely, yes, you're right. I've been around for a while. And I heard Ricky Martin say something really interesting. He said it takes 15 years to be an overnight success. <laughs> and he's, I think he's right. <laughs> That's great. You know, we were uh, questioning something on your CD because we wanted to make sure everyone understood. There are actually five extra tracks yes. than the U.S. release. Yes. Yeah, because we have uh, two versions of I Will Love Again. So you get the original 12 tracks that you get on the U.S. version plus five others. So this is really a, a nice gift for you when you join us at $75. You can't get it anywhere unless you are planning to go to Portugal or Spain over the holidays, right? Or Mexico. That's, or Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a lot cheaper for you to just join and become a member of WLIW and we'll get you a copy of this. You know, we were talking before uh, about the fact, uh, you were talking in the show about Caruso and yes. that it makes you feel like you're in Italy and you love it. You spent some time in, in Italy. Exactly. I was born in Brussels and uh, I was raised in Italy, in Sicily precisely, in Catania, which is close to the close Where to the Where my sea. grandmother's from. Really? Yeah. Catania, so, so another, another point in common. And uh, Italy was very important to me because the early age of a child defines so many things. So my grandma is still alive. She's 94 and she's in Sicily and, you know, we, we call each other very, very frequently. So you do. Oh, that's wonderful. And do you carry on some of the Italian traditions? We definitely. Say? Well, for Christmas, we do. You know, we don't have Santa Claus. We have what we call Il Bambino Gesù. The so, witch. Is no, Il Bambino Gesù, it's, oh, it's the baby actually, Jesus. yes, Baby Jesus, exactly. The witch, we also have the witches in, in January. Uh, La Befana, ah. the 6th of January, we have that as well. But yes. you don't do the Santa thing. That's wonderful. It's, we do have it, but I think Il Bambino Gesù is more present than Santa Claus during the Christmas season. So I was, you know, I see you wearing a cross, so. So I have been raised with those kind of things. So, That's yes. beautiful. That's nice to hear that, uh, that you have beliefs and morals in addition to wonderful talent. I do. You, you can't really indoctrinate people with anything. But beliefs are a good, good thing to hold on to. Absolutely. Well, as, as you can see, she's just charming. I'm saying that in front of you. I don't mean to embarrass you. But we're all really enjoying having you here. And Thank I hope you. that our audience feels the same way and that you'll call now and make a pledge of support to us here. The number's on your screen. Call now and join us. Well, here she is, Ms. Lara Fabian. Mm -hmm. Welcome back to WLIW. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, boy, things have uh, really taken off for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A little delayed reaction from the crowd, but applause nonetheless. 
I have to congratulate you. You are nominated for an incredible award in Canada this Saturday, right? You will be nominated. You are nominated for Best Female Vocalist. Yes, exactly. And I'm singing on the show too. Oh, you'll be, oh, that's wonderful. We won't get to see that in the United States. No, though. probably not. Because oh. it's, uh, Canadian television. Well, we're going to keep our fingers crossed for you. Thank you. And you deserve it. If people watching the, the concert this evening, you certainly see the, the talent that you have. It is amazing. And now you speak four different languages, is that I right? do, yes. How did that come about, that you could do that? Well, actually, really because I come from a multilingual background. My mom is Italian, it's from south of Italy, so that's my mother tongue because it's the first language she ever spoke to me. My father is from Belgium, so he speaks Flemish and French, and he spoke those languages to me. And then English because my granddad, which is a tricky story, is from actually the States. He was, he was born and was raised in uh, Chicago, actually. And then he moved back to Sicily, being from Italian roots, married an Italian woman and stayed there and raised his family there. But so he had this English connection. American connection that allowed him to speak with us in English and, and helped us a great deal to, to speak this language and then Spanish that I, I just was taught at school and I just loved very much and now which one do you feel the most comfortable singing in oh, you know it really depends of the emotion and how you feel about something but I would say you're always really comfortable in the language that you speak the most so probably French and Italian are the ones that I'm really, really comfortable with. But they really describe a very different emotion every time. So there's no favorite. There's just moments. Now, when you write the songs, which is also a very interesting factor about you, you don't just sing, you write many of the songs. Yes. How do you decide what language you will write it in? I think music speaks, and this is why maybe sometimes if you compare it to classical music or some music that you can really connect with, a language really matters very little. Uh, it really depends on how the music brings the words out. Music is a language in itself. Well, this is a, a wonderful concert, as we've been saying, and we're going to hear more of the works that you've okay. written. But I want to remind everyone, because they're listening to you, Lara. They're not they calling. They're listening <laughs> to you instead of calling. So yes, we've got to grab that phone. Right? That's it. You and uh, as she said, don't be a viewer, be a member. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's the message this evening. So if you have been waiting to dial the number on your screen, call it now. Actually, why don't you tell us quickly about, we have three extra songs yes. on the video that you'll get when you join us as a member at $75. Part of me, yes. tell me about that. Well, that's one of the songs that I did with Patrick Leonard, who worked with Madonna for 15 years, and Jewel, the latest album as well. And so we co-wrote that song, and uh, it's part of the work of this album that uh, they, they maybe sometimes know. Otro Amor Vendrá is a version of the Spanish version of uh, I Will Love Again. And uh, I think there is, Till I Get Over You, there's another up-tempo song, really fun song uh, that I wrote with some talented American people. Wow. Louis Biancanello and Sam Waters. Oh, Sam Waters, well, yes. we've heard of He's very famous. Well, from Color Me Bad. Yes. So he, he's from that beautiful band that was really popular uh, a few years ago. And now he's a composer, really active. He worked with Louis, and he, he composes great songs. And so I had the chance to have that one song on the record. Oh, look at that. Well, that's what you have to look forward to, those three bonus tracks, if you call and join and get a copy of the video. But you can't just sit there any longer. You've got to call. So go to your phone, make a pledge. We'll come back to Lara in a little bit. You can call while Chris is talking. How about that? All right, Lara, I have to know. You've got this big voice. It's just this wonderful voice. You can write songs. How did you start, though? How do you find out that you have all this ability in you? Well, you know, I really believe a child doesn't really know that until he just feels the passion for it and love out of it. And uh, the fact that maybe my mom and dad really liked what was happening and encouraged me made me realize the reality of it. But before you are, I would say, 12, 13, you, you don't really realize exactly the reality of it. I was five and I, I decided to express my wish to become a singer to my father and there's a funny story about that that I tell in the, in the special actually where I'm in the car and, and uh, I'm singing this opera little moment and he turns, what are you doing? I don't know and I'm, I'm five and, and he says, well, what are you doing? You're singing and I said, well, I, I, I am a singer, Dad. And uh, he rushed home, opened the door, and went, Lulu, that's my mom. And he said, you know, we have a problem. Your daughter is a singer. <laughs> You're singing opera at five. That's incredible. It, it was funny, yes. It was. And then you did something else that was very gutsy, because singing opera at five is, shows a little bit of courage. You up and left your homeland. Yes, I did. I did. I, I decided to move from one place where I felt a little uncomfortable to a place where it was more... Um, adequate to be who I was. You know, sometimes it's so difficult to not only find what you want, make it happen, and remain who you are at the same time. And it required too much change mm. for me to be really comfortable where I was. So I took my little luggage and left with Rick Allison at the time, who was my forever collaborator, and we built something out of scratch in Canada. And uh, 10 years later, here we are. 
Oh, wow. And that's what they always say, overnight success. Yeah, but it, it takes was 15 long... years. Yeah, that's what Ricky Martin says. He says it takes 15 years to be an overnight success. Very, very Well, true. thank goodness. I'm so pleased that you took your concert here to public television. Yes. We're pleased to have you as part of it. And uh, do you, are you familiar with public television? You live in Canada, but you get to watch. Absolutely. But we're in Europe, because I lived there for 20 years, we're not as familiar with the system. But I think it's really smart because it allows a lot of eclectic people, I mean, not just one particular audience, to really relate to music in a different very different way you choose for that and I really like the fact that people can pick up the phone make a choice everything is by choices in life I really believe that and and actually translate that choice into music or into whatever that you offer to a public audience that's very well put I, I love that and te this public television does really give you a sort of a freedom yes, to definitely. see other things and that is something worth paying for Americans have known that for as long as America's been in existence, there are some things certainly worth paying for. And I hope that you put public television on your list of things worth paying for by making a membership pledge right now. The number's on your screen. Call. Let us send you a copy of Lara's video at the $75 level. I think it's Caruso. Oh, yes. Hey, we're probably Caruso, we're saying. What is coming up in the next bit? So I think it's the Italian song, probably. Well, that would be good. We'll yes. be looking for it. Now, I think we've heard Andrea Bocelli sing that, yes. right? Um, yes. And Lucio Dalla is the first person uh, that ever sang it. Oh, I love He wrote him. that song. I didn't know that. He wrote that. that song 12 years ago, and then uh, Andrea Bocelli did it, and then Pavarotti did it, and only men do that song, and, and I like men's song. I think uh, they tell with that sense of strength that I really like. Yeah, it's a little more bold than songs they usually give to women. Well, yes. good for you. That just fits in with your personality to go out there and, <laughs> and to try it. Good. We're looking forward to hearing that coming up next. But in the meantime, I really think we need to sort of tell convey to the viewers a little bit more of how important it is to call because these programs you know how it happened with your show people yes. called the last time exactly and that gave us the opportunity to bring you back yes it was really wonderful it was a great Sunday afternoon and we didn't really think that they were gonna like this music this way and so the fact that you liked it and you phone and you picked up that phone changed a lot for this great broadcast so please call and it is up to you to do that right now because maybe Lara has another concert coming up or maybe there's another emerging artist, another one of those 15-year overnight successes that we can help bring to light here on American Broadcasting. And we can only do that with your pledge of support because you give us the courage and the strength. They, really, your dollars are the strength we need to go out and find programs like this. So if you haven't called us yet, if you haven't joined, don't wait any longer. Watch the rest of this concert as a member. Well, Lara, welcome back to New York. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and New York, here she is. Don't you just love her? She's fabulous. I've got to ask you, Lara, when you're singing Caruso, there is so much emotion and so much... It's, it's acting, really, isn't it, part it's of the singing? Yes, I, yeah, I, I think so, too. To a certain extent, it is telling a story. And, of course, I didn't write that song, so you have to enter into that dimension where you really say something through somebody else's eyes, words, feeling. Yes, you got to act. And it takes total abandonment, though, of yes. any inhibitions you have. How, were, as a child, were you that courageous? I've never really been the shy type. Uh, I've always been really outgoing, though I have some reserves about certain things and I'm kind of private about certain things. But I would say in general, music was about sharing. I was understood that notion pretty quickly. And, uh, and that, within that concept, I felt really at ease. Well, sharing. It's like it here. shows. This is, right. This is about yeah, sharing. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and uh, what Lara means by that is you need to share with us. You need to call and tell us that you like what you're, what you're watching enough to make a pledge of support because we'd certainly like to see a second concert. <laughs> oh, I would love that too. So please lift that phone. There's a number on your screen and please make that gesture. Pledge. Become a member. And it's very simple, and our volunteers are so nice. Actually, a lot of your fan club is Yes, here. I couldn't believe that. People flew from Boston and Chicago to be here tonight. I'm really, really honored, really. Okay, now, how does it feel to have that going on? Like, if it were <laughs> me, I'd be, I'd be calling my mom. Mom, you can't believe this. There are people here from my fan club. <laughs> you know, my mom is there most of the time, and she's always really astonished. Sometimes it worries her. She's like... Why do they follow you? Well, maybe mommy, because maybe they like me. You know, it's kind of funny. A mother thing, especially when she's Italian. My mother is Italian, more mm. Italian, as Italian as it gets. And um, I, I am that way too. I really still am completely enamored with the fact that, or astonished with the fact that people can actually really like a person behind an artist. Because be, beyond the fact that we are doing this, we're also who we are, as simply as a human being, like anybody else. So when you relate to that reality of being just or normal or ordinary, it's amazing to see somebody else's 
re interaction with you. It's probably hard to keep at a steady level as well because I don't know if you look at your website, but yeah, people sometimes. are saying all these wonderful things about you, and you've got to keep yourself on a level to continue performing. You know, I have an amazing mommy for that and an amazing father. If ever I lost track of reality and kind of went into some places that I don't, where I don't belong to, I'd be noticed. I, I mean, I'd be notified of it. <laughs> Believe me, it would be like, Laura, do we, don't you remember? And I think having these people are so grounded around me truly help me yes, take care of that notion that can be uh, sometimes weird, you know, to get lost into this virtual image of yours, you know. Because That's it's virtual, it's not really sure. who you are to a certain extent. Some people will make translation of your talent, translation of your personality. Oh, we've met her, she's like this or she's like mm -hmm. that. When you're like here on TV and I can talk to you, there's not really any, uh, how, how can I say this, not really any interaction beyond the fact that you and I are just discussing. No right. one can really translate, we're here. Right. You know, right. It's an interesting thing to think about is uh, how you are in real life and your virtual persona. But I'll tell you something, this is really a good show. It's not virtually a exactly. good show. Exactly. It is a good show. <laughs> and it's not virtual. This is real. You lift up a phone, you call a number, you pledge you become a member, and maybe you get a great CD and a one out of good show. show. Yeah. yeah. You know? And of course, those dollars then go toward more music programs. Lara was influenced very young by music. Influence the young people in your home by music, by being a member and getting these concerts in your home. Call now. Well, there's the number on your screen. We were just talking to people yeah. off camera. No big deal. <laughs> yeah, we're all really natural all going here. It's crazy. Well, need some coffee later. <laughs> but tell me about in this concert, what is your favorite song that you perform? You're not from here, definitely, and Broken Down because it's a special moment, tells a special story about a particular time in my life. Um, Talks about betrayal, but I guess it all talks about forgiveness more than anything else. So you went through a situation like that? Who doesn't? Which woman doesn't? <laughs> I, I'm not different uh, in that respect. Was it a catharsis to write that song? Did it make you feel better doing it? You know what really happened when I wrote that song? It, I found a way out and an explanation to it through understanding why it happened. And it wasn't only this person's fault or it wasn't only my fault. It was a situation that made it this way. And yet betrayal is betrayal, no doubt. But you grow through a, such a situation where you have to understand the hard way. Uh, suffering is the best teacher to understand many things. Mm, wow, those are some tough words. Yeah, but it's, it's true, you know, and, and it makes you become wiser. And, and more mellow, laid back. And before you get into back into some kind of relationship that really involves all your, your being, you are much more careful. Well, I know all the men watching are wondering, are you married, <laughs> are you single? I'm not married, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm single. Yeah. But I'm traveling so much that it's really hard to, to keep a relationship stable, so I don't want to give something that I have to take back. I don't want to do that. Okay, so she's level-headed on top of being smart and speaking four languages. What more could you want? <laughs> Her eyes. Aren't they amazing? <laughs> well, what we'd like you to do right now is call That's and make true. a pledge of support. And tell us that airing these music concerts here at WLIW is the right way to go. And that we should take chances on new artists. Any new artists you know of that we should be keeping an eye out for? Well, she's not really new, but I think she's amazing. She's called Amanda Marshall. She's Canadian. She's a tremendous artist. Uh, and Anastasia that is going to come up to the States very soon. I hope she's having a great success in Europe and she's American. She's being really big out there. I think she she really deserves to come back home. She's great. Wow, well, that, that's interesting to hear. I always like to hear who the musicians are listening to. <laughs> well, the number's there on your screen. Please call and make a pledge. Well, you are not going to believe this. Lara and I were just talking because she did a radio interview on Long Island today. You know what she did after that? Tell them where you went. I went to the mall. I did a girl thing, of course. I, I grabbed my purse and went to the mall and walked to the mall and I did something really girlish. I sat in the alleys where the cosmetics are mm -hmm. in, in this pharmacy and I was trying all the stuff on. It was, it was just so funny. And Wilfred, that is always with me, like, come on, so let's get out of here. I said, that's it, that's, you've got enough. And I bought this full bag with like, you know, cosmetics and You were at Roosevelt Field, so you had to be at Sephora. Was that? Oh. Yeah, absolutely. It was really cool. That's a great mall. Oh, it's they had amazing stuff. Really. <laughs> I love that. You were just walking around Roosevelt Field buying stuff. It was really nice. Uh, you know, I'm watching the concert, and I'm no, I know that you write a lot of music. Yes. But I don't see you play an instrument in the concert. Do you play one? I do. I play piano, and it helps me write songs. But I'm not a great piano player. I do that sometimes. I will. Do, it's funny you mention this because over the next concert, and probably for the next show that we'll uh, we'll have the opportunity to do, I'm going to be playing piano. 
Really? Yeah. Oh, and what kind of music do you play on the piano? Well, classical. Classical, classical was what I was taught, and then eventually I I begin play I began playing something different to help me write songs. Interesting. And did you hear that? Maybe you caught that audience. <laughs> that she said the next show yes. she does. Yes. That's wonderful. Yes. That's very, very exciting. And hopefully I can present it here as well. Mm. Oh, we would love oh, that. We really nice. love you here at WLIW. <laughs> Thank you. Well, we've got to get them to call. Yes. It's very important. So how do we do this? Well, the thought is... I could sing a song. I like that <laughs> idea very much. <laughs> did you I know knew. it was going to get to that? <laughs> she was going to look... Oh, is she gonna sing a song? <laughs> yes, I can absolutely sing. You know what? Uh, this young lady on the phone asked me if I could sing a little piece in French from one of the of the records that I have in French called Je t'aime. Je t'aime means I love you. She said, could you please sing a little bit of that? And I said, yes, I will do that for you. Oh, so wonderful. I can do that if Can you, want. you do that right now? Yes. Let me remind them first that they've got to call, make yes. a pledge of support, call while she's singing, get it over with. It'll feel good. And maybe we can get our hands on that next concert that Lara's looking at. Maybe we can even be the first ones again. That would be so exciting. Well, I don't want to keep you waiting any longer. Here we are, a little bit of Je t'aime by Lara Fabian. <laughs> D'accord, il existait d'autres façons de se quitter. Quelques éclats de verre auraient peut-être pu nous aider. Et dans ce silence amer, j'ai décidé de pardonner les erreurs qu'on peut faire à trop s'aimer. Je t'aime, je t'aime. Comme une star de cinéma Je t'aime Je t'aime Comme un loup, comme un roi Comme un homme que je ne suis pas Tu vois, je t'aime comme ça Oh, that was beautiful Lara, thank you, thank you. What a My pleasure and what is amazing to me is your voice sounds as beautiful now as it did on the concert, which tells us that you are no not tricks. being... No tricks. <laughs> no. I'm not doing... I'm, just, I'm really singing. Hey, you I'm a do. singer. And you're, they're not manipulating your voice. It comes out sounding like that. Yeah. Oh, you were very fortunate to have that talent. It really is a gift that you can brag about something that was given to you as a child. It really is a gift. I'm really lucky, and I know that. Yes. Mm. That's, you know, you have such a good feeling about that. Do you have any philosophy you can share with us of what made you the success that you are? You know, I'm, uh, I have this tendency to be worried about things and worry about, <laughs> did I do this right in the past? Am I going to do this right in the future? And I found out that by being really in the present, by making it count while it has to count, you will not linger over the past and you will not worry about the future. And it makes life interesting every moment. Carpe Diem was uh, Robin Williams' philosophy in the Dead Poets Society. And this really was one of my beliefs. It became one of my religions, if I may say so, though we only have one, of course. But uh, that really became one of my important things in life. Carpe diem, make it count, seize the day. I think that's really important. That's the effort you put in right now. Yes, absolutely. And you know, sometimes you, I remember last time you told me, aren't you tired to always say the same things? But it's never the same people you're talking to. So you have to keep that in mind. And in order to bring more people to what you do, you gotta keep that fresh every time. Oh, that is very good advice. And I'm enjoying hearing that. Now we need you to make that effort. Make that effort. Carpe diem today. Today, <laughs> not tomorrow. Today. Go to the phone, make a pledge of support. $75 will send you a copy of this beautiful concert. Call now. Well, I'll get over you. That song is courtesy of all the members who joined tonight. Because of them, we took this opportunity to air that bonus song for you to enjoy here on WLIW. So thank you and congratulations to our new members tonight. But you know what? We didn't hear from nearly the amount of you that we expected and the amount that we need in order to make this happen again, to find the next great artist and to bring that next artist into the studio as we try to do with each one. So you get to meet them, learn a little more about them. So it is really important if you are there watching, you are enjoying what you're seeing. So what's the big deal? Make that one call. You think about how easily people these days spend 50, 75, 100 dollars. You make one clothing mistake, one bad skirt. How, tell me you don't have that hanging in your closet. And all you need to do to make up for that is to call and make that pledge of support. And that is giving us that one amount of money, that one gift gives us what we need to go out and look for these programs. 
to purchase another music concert here at WLIW. It's so important. We want to do it. It's not for us. It's for you. It all boils down to the programs that you're going to see. So dial the number on your screen, use your credit card, make a pledge of just $75. That's all we're asking. And that will get you a copy of this video as our thanks. And it will ensure that more music concerts come your way. Now, fabulous program. And she probably has something else up her sleeve, but how do we know if we can do it if we don't hear from you, if we don't get the encouragement from you to put these shows on the air? Well, I don't know what else to tell you to get you to do it. Chris and I have been chatting you up all night. Now here's one of your last opportunities to go to the phone and make that pledge of support. Use your credit card if you can, Visa, MasterCard, American Express, or Discover card. Chris is telling you about that $150 package, and I'm sorry I wasn't talking about that earlier because that is really a good idea. It's the CD and the video, and that is really good. And you know why? Because you probably have, like everyone, I think I'm the only one who doesn't have one of those portable CD players, so you can listen to that whether you're on the subway or at the beach or wherever you are. Uh, listening to your music, you can have Lara Fabian there, and then when you get home and you're relaxing, and you're just, if you're like me, you're in and out of the, the living room, you put that a video in, and you're hearing the music, and you get to see her, and seeing her performance is something else. She puts every little essence of herself into it. You can feel it. She just loves what she's doing, and it comes out in the music, and that's the kind of artist we like here on WLIW. So why not make that uh, gift of $150? We'll send you the, v the VHS, which is exclusive to public television, and the CD. More importantly, those dollars go into our music programming fund here. I think it is a brilliant idea. Why not give it a shot? Wherever it is that you're watching from, this is your public TV station, and you need to keep it strong by making a pledge. That's how this works. It's a simple process, but it's such an important one. Uh, to, to keep your public television strong, public TV station strong and vibrant, um, and it's done through membership support. So we can go out and acquire the programs uh, that are so important to you and everyone in your household. At the $75 level, the Lara Fabian VHS, it's a copy of the program that you've been watching here. Of course, completely different tempo and just beautiful, and that was something that we couldn't get any oh, anywhere. You can't find that anywhere, but here on WLIW, that's a an extra song we put on because the night has been so exciting. It's been great. I've been answering phone calls and working. talking to, and I have to say something really important. The amount of people that I've been talking to are just so true and real and human, and that's really what caught my attention is how, how real people are. And you know what? This kind of broadcast allows you to really be who you are and think about that. Think about what this offers you. Not just the VHS, me, or whatever. Just being a member of this is really important just because of what it represents. It was really cool talking to you, all of, all of you, all of you. <laughs> that's very nice. Now, if you want that VHS, that's cool, too. <laughs> <laughs> and you can get that VHS by calling that number on your screen. And what Lara is saying is so true, because we look for shows, and WLAW tries to attract yeah. that kind of an audience that you're talking about, and I guess that means we're doing our job. Yeah, <laughs> you know, people talk and tell me, are you Italian? What kind of thing do you eat? It was really cool to see you laugh. I mean, real stuff, what we are about. Sometimes television will have a tendency to hide the true persona, and I mean, we're simply who we are, and that's so cool to have the opportunity to talk with real people. So thank you for giving me that opportunity. Um, that's wonderful. And, and yes, you are. You're, you're part Italian. Yes. And what do you eat for the ones who didn't get to talk to you on the oh, phone? Oh, it's a buco, tiramisu, mm. pasta, risotto. I love risotto. Mm, I'm crazy about risotto. And I love to cook. I'm a, I can brag about that. I'm a, I think I'm a really good cook. Wow, what's yes. your specialty? Risotto, ossobuco, tiramisu, oh. any kind of pasta, <laughs> arancini, that is a specialty from south of Italy, so yes. Oh, very nice. I can't believe you eat tiramisu, that's so cool. Look, yeah, you even of eat stuff that's fattening. Of it's course. Perfect. I, and, oh, yes, <laughs> this whole craziness about not eating anything that isn't healthy. Know that in tiramisu there's the healthiest biscuit, the health, healthiest cookies, and a cheese that is really healthy. Now you don't have right, to the eat the whole. You're yeah, right. you don't have to eat the whole thing. You can eat a little piece and feel really happy and content, and don't, don't go oh, just for the rest of the year. <laughs> you I know? have to be a huge fan of tiramisu as Good. well. That's and the one thing I like to cheat. And with. you're so beautiful. See? Oh, well, Lara, I have to thank you. This has been a fun night. The volunteers, did you guys love her or what? Yeah. <laughs> These guys here are amazing. They are. They work thank hard. You. They work hard. Well, Lara Fabian, we're so glad you came back for your second mm -hmm. visit to WLIW, and we want to see you at the new concert. Okay, and thanks, really, to give me this opportunity. Again, don't forget, this is important. Lift your phone, there's a number, do it. Thanks. <laughs>